Hey everyone, welcome to the first episode of Cocktails and Dreams, where the bar is always open because it's at home. In this first season of Cocktails and Dreams, I'm going to be showing you how to make delicious cocktails like this blood orange sangria. It's a perfect cocktail to whip up at home for the May long weekend and enjoy outside in the wilderness. Cheers, everyone. All you need are these simple ingredients and pieces of equipment, so get yourselves ready to stir up some dreams. Today I'm going to be making a blood orange sangria made with our blood moon blood orange sour. All you need to get started are some really simple ingredients. We've got some fresh fruit, we have red wine, orange juice, our blood moon sour of course, and just a little bit of sugar and soda water. So this cocktail is uh, super easy to put together. Uh, all it involves is taking your ingredients, stirring them together in a delightful vessel like this, and uh, there we have it, cocktail made. So to get started, it's very simple. I'm just going to add half a teaspoon of white granulated sugar and a splash of soda water. This will help uh, dilute that sugar. Um, you can also use simple syrup if you have it or if you have the time to make it. This is sort of the quick and easy uh, way of doing that. Before I start uh, really mixing the sugar and the soda water together, um, I'm just going to mix in a little bit of fresh fruit. So I'm going to cut a small wedge of lemon. We can just throw that in. A small wedge of lime. And a nice chunk of orange. From there, we're gonna muddle your fresh fruit, your sugar and your soda water together, just to extract all that flavor from the rind and uh, to mix it all in. Add a few ice cubes. And four ounces of red wine doesn't need to be um, sort of a high-end red wine. I'm using a nice affordable Merlot today. Um, adds that tiny bit of sweetness that uh, will complement the rest of the flavors really well. So pour in your red wine on top of that ice, on top of all the fruit and that sugary mixture. We have two ounces of orange juice. I like to go with a uh, orange juice without pulp for a cocktail. Um, I don't like too many bits in there. We get a little bit of uh, pulp from the, from the fresh fruit. And then finally, we're gonna add our Blood Moon Sour. So this works really well in a, in a cocktail. Um, it adds that carbonation, it adds uh, the sort of fruitiness, but also um, the sour really balances all of those other flavors very well. Blood Moon was our first sour that we brewed ourselves. Um, it is a super delicious, light, refreshing uh, sour that um, is perfect on a day like today. Four ounces of Blood Moon. Of course, you could use um, another sour beer, uh, but uh, you want it to be nice, light, fruity, and refreshing for this cocktail. Perfect, some would say that's made to measure. We're now gonna give it a nice stir, make sure to get all that sugar off the bottom. Today I've chosen to uh, use a tiku glass for this cocktail. Uh, this is a glass that's fantastic to drink sours out of or IPAs, but uh, it's a attractive glass. It's one of my favorites and perfect for a summery cocktail like this. Add a couple more ice cubes to your tiku glass. Three is the perfect number. And then strain on top. I love to garnish this with some fresh fruit as well and a sprig of mint. Cut another lime wedge. An orange wedge. And then garnish with 
with a nice sprig of mint. Right on top. And there we have it, folks. One amazing, delicious blood moon, blood orange sangria. It's a perfect cocktail to whip up at home for the May long weekend and enjoy outside in the wilderness. Cheers, everyone.